Hello to this week's, well, day's tutorial on Photoshop CS5. And we'll be using the pen tool to create this line effect where you, you can use it to your own manipulation. I've seen it used as manipulation quite long. We're gonna, we're gonna create a new document, just any size you really want. Put a quick gradient over here and select what color we would like we need it white because we add the color later on uh, make a new layer and then we want to go to brush you want to right click on the canvas and do this little icon here selecting what brush you would like to have go to calligraphic brushes go, click OK and then click this little brush here 28 uh, I think that's just the pixel I'm going to make mine a bit smaller to around 15 pixels and then make sure we've got the color okay go over to here and select brush uh, this will make it so we can edit the brush if that's not there go to window and press this t make sure this takes brush okay so select it again and go to shape dynamics Tick the little box Make sure control here says pen pressure so it creates a nice smooth effect. Next we're going to move on to the pen tool and select this icon here so it doesn't create a box when we draw something. We're, we're next going to make a selection. Just do something quick here. And then we're going to simply right click, stroke path make sure this drop down is on brush click simulate pen pressure to make sure it's ticked click OK control shift and H will hide the path for you and now you've got this like brush which is smooth instead of being rigged when you draw it we're going to double click on the layer to bring up the layer style box click outer glow and we're gonna set the quality contour to this little hill like thing here leave that on screen and select the color you would like so I would like blue we're gonna do a drop shadow and just drop the opacity a little bit and take the distance to around 3 size to 2 the this we want on overlay and just select the color again and oh, that didn't work select the color again but a little bit lighter gives it a bit more oomph <laughs> and select the same contour again click OK and voila there you have it if say you would like to put this on a picture like this one well and you wanted it going behind the arm you would select the mask tool so we're not proper fully editing and select your brush and just go over the parts you would not like on the picture simple as that really um, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and well I'll be bringing more over the next week because I fancy doing lots of tutorials to get lots of subscribers so thumbs up because I really need thumbs up right now and I keep on stuttering